Hi, did you know that learning a language is not that difficult? A lot of people think, especially German, is so hard to learn, but actually it's not. There's a few things you have to know at the beginning of the language that helps you while you're studying. One of the things is like learn useful things at the beginning, like for example how to buy a coffee. Einen Kaffee bitte. You don't need a lot of things like big grammar topics, like the most important things about the past and so on. Like start like in a natural way. The things that you have to know are pretty easy to learn. Things that you use in your everyday life, like for example, when you go shopping, when you buy something to eat or drink in a restaurant or in a coffee, a coffee shop, or if you just go to the supermarket, things uh, that you are looking for when you want to purchase something. Then there is another thing, how to start the language properly. The thing is like uh, you have to start like in a way that is useful for you. The whole language is built around a few structures. One of those structures is the verb. Like the verb is kind of the center of the uh, language. That means um, you have to learn the verb at the beginning. And then once you know some verbs like uh, kaufen, to buy, or gehen, go, then you can construct a whole sentence. For example, if you know the verb kaufen, to buy, you can make sentences like Ich kaufe ein Brot, Ich kaufe ein Haus, Ich kaufe ein Auto oder Ich kaufe einen Kaffee. Things like that are really basic because first you need the subject like Ich, then you have the verb kaufe and then you have an object. An accusative object in this case. Why the accusative object? Because that's the simple object. It's the one that we use all the time, that we use every day. Things like I need a coffee, ich brauche einen Kaffee, I drink a coffee, I have a coffee, I make a coffee can be used or expressed easily in that way. You have the verb as a center and then you build all your sentence around it. What's the next step? The next step is the verb to have. That means haben. Ich habe Zeit. Ich habe Geld. Ich habe Lust. Ich habe Spaß. Aber auch, but also, things like I have a car. Ich habe ein Auto, I have a house, ich habe ein Haus, I have an apartment, ich habe ein Apartment, ich habe eine Wohnung. Wenn wir den Akkusativ und das Verb haben, benutzt haben oder gelernt haben, once we have learned the accusative and the verb have, we can go on with our sentence construction. We go on with the next important thing. What's that? To be. Ich bin, du bist, er ist, wir sind, ihr seid und sie sind. Those are the forms of the verb to be. I am, you are, he is, we are, you are and they are. This verb can be used in many, many different situations. For example, ich bin hier. Du bist weg, I'm here, you're away, you're gone, kind of. You can also say things like, das ist schön, that's nice, that's beautiful. Oder, das stimmt so, that's right, that's true. Okay, when you have words like these, first we have the normal verbs, like the regular verbs, then we have the verb have, and then the verb to be. We can start building real sentences. We have a subject, a verb, an object. And then we can build questions. Where are you? Wo bist du? Who are you? Wer bist du? When are you at school? 
wann bist du in der Schule? Or, wann kommst du zur Schule? When do you come to school? So here you can see, for making us a question, you just have to switch around the subject and the verb. And then you get some kind of a sentence structure or a question structure. You have the question word, then you have the verb, the subject, and the object again. And as an answer, you get the same. The subject, the verb, and the object. The next step are locations. Locations are important because you always want to talk about where do you go, where are you, where are you from. And so we have the questions, woher kommst du, where do you come from, where are you, wo bist du, and where do you go, wohin gehst du. Actually, it's like in English. It's just a different way how to make it. We have these three important question verbs, uh, words, and those are woher, wo, und wohin. So if you keep that in mind, you already have your question. And then you go on with the verb. Woher kommst du? And then the answer is the other way around. Ich komme aus. And then you put your country or your city. Ich komme aus Deutschland. I come from Germany. Ich komme aus München. I come from Munich. And then in the end, you have also have to add prepositions. You've already mentioned here, aus. Aus means from. But we can also put other places, uh, other prepositions like in. In. I live in. Ich wohne in. Ich komme aus. I'm from. Or I come from. And then you can also say, I go to. Ich gehe zu dir oder ich gehe zum Bahnhof. But also things like ich gehe in die Stadt. I go to the city, into the city center, more or less. Or you can say things like ich gehe nach oben, nach unten. Ich gehe in ein Land. I go to a country. I go up, I go down. I go to a country. Here you have to learn which preposition goes with which location or person. And once you know that, you can make the whole bunch of sentences. So now we have like some kind of a summary how to start to speak German or any other language. This is like really the basic thing. Once you know that, you have maybe passed already a week or two. Once you have that, you can really go on and just talking and studying. So enjoy this video. I hope you liked it. Give me a like, share it and put it on other websites. See you. Bye.